In this short uh, video, I want to uh, demonstrate how to uh, properly read uh, the SWR uh, value on a cross needle meter like uh, this one of mine, the MFJ uh, 949E. But there are many other um, models uh, which uh, use uh, the uh, cross uh, needle method, which, uh, by the way, uh, allows you to read uh, simultaneously the forward power, reflected power, and SWR value. So let's take a closer look. Uh, it might seem very uh, silly, but uh, I've seen uh, so many times uh, people uh, reading uh, incorrectly uh, the PSWR uh, on uh, this type of meters uh, that I had the idea of uh, making this video. It's quite simple, actually, but uh, um, it's quite logic, too. So basically, um, I'm going to now uh, give uh, a carrier and uh, I'll show you what uh, uh, many people will do. OK, so uh, the full scale now is 30, 30 watts. Okay, because the switch here is out. So full scale is 30 watts. Uh, this means that uh, the, uh, for the forward power, for the reflected power is six, is six watts. Okay, so you divide by 10, by a factor of 10. Okay, so what, what, would, what we see here is about uh, um, two watts. Okay. And... Um, this is about 0.1 of a watt, okay? So many people would tend to say, okay, uh, PSWR is very good, it's low, it's okay, it's 1.1, okay? Uh, whereas actually it's not at all. Um, first of all, the mistake that uh, some people do is to read the SWR uh, looking at this needle. So they see the needle here, they say, okay, PSWR is 1.1 or uh, perhaps uh, or perhaps uh, um, they see the needle like this and they say okay VSWR is 1.3 okay this is totally wrong obviously okay so um, this is one scale for the forward power okay so you look at, you look at it like this this is the other scale for the reflected power and the area beneath in 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 between uh, is the area with the vswr curves okay so we have to read where the needles cross each other okay so where do they cross in between 1.5 line and 2 line so the the whole line the whole lines here are what they say so the whole line here is 2.5 from the top to the bottom the whole line here is six and uh, likewise the other the others so um, again if i make it like this okay if i make it like this if, if i zo zoom in uh three uh, 1.5 so vswr is 1.5 okay so uh, we are reading correctly the, um, the cross needle. We're not saying it's 1.2, 1.1, 1.2. It's saying 1.5. So we are reading correct. Uh, but uh, still, uh, this is not uh, the best way. Um, many people tend to read SWR with very low value of power. And uh, by that, I mean uh, looking... Um, uh, allowing the needles to move uh, just uh, just uh, to uh, to make just a too little movement okay something like this you know something like this like this trust me i i've seen people doing this okay they 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 measure like this this is absolutely not precise not precise um to, to be able to uh, read uh, in, e in an easier way, we want to take advantage of the, uh, uh, the whole scale. 
the whole scale of the uh, forward and reflected okay so what we want to do is we want to um, raise the uh, the power up until we can take advantage of uh, if not the full scale uh, more, more than half you know so for example something like this you know okay so now I am pushing out of the radio um, 20 watts 20 watts forward and I have 2 watts remember divide by 10 20 forward 2 watts reflected and they cross over 2 and if I increase as you can see they stay over 2 and if I decrease it stays over 2 you see and then look what happens now as you go lower and lower we lose we lose the um, uh, accuracy okay now is in between here so it's kind of 1.8 1.7 1.8 and now going down and down and down it's going to 1.5 so we are losing accuracy and we are not in the um, correct position uh, for uh, an accurate and more accurate measurement okay uh, from from here up above uh, as you can see it stays pretty much constant about 1.9 okay just a tiny bit less than two so as you can see from from half from 50 percent of the entire movement from zero to this angle so this would be like 50 percent of its movement you know so just stay on the on the upper half of the uh, forward movement in order to have an accurate and easy easy read uh, reading of the VSWR okay furthermore uh, if you are not sure for example you cannot reach you have uh, you have a QRP radio okay so the maximum you can reach is 5 watts okay so like this let's say 4 watts okay 4 watts um, and it's 1.5 okay um, if you if you take a chart which uh, you can found on internet like this one I'm going to show you now uh, you can uh, read the forward and the reflected and uh, the chart will give you the value uh, for the VSWR so 4 watts forward and this is 0.25 reflected okay let's have a look uh, what the chart says okay the chart here I'm using is uh, from bird it's got two faces uh, for different uh, uh, scales um, this one has got on the um, horizontal axis the forward power up to 500 in a logarithmic fashion and uh, on um, likewise logarithmic fashion on the uh, uh, vertical axis, uh, which is uh, uh, for the reflected power in watts okay so we start from from here you see 4.0 so you can uh, reach a good accuracy as well uh, we've got this line 4.0 we follow the line up above until we intercept the 0.25 as we said this is 0.2 this is 0.3 so 0.25 is this one here so uh, where they cross and as you can see they cross in here just two lines before this one so one and two they cross in here and as you can see the VSWR is 1.7 okay 1.7 so um, let's take another another look okay here we have 20 watts forward and 2 watts reflected and the needle says almost 2 let's have a look okay once again um, as you can see, the top of this of this graph is one watt. So I'll flip over the other side, and we go up to twenty. So we start uh, from twenty watts forward, and we go up to two watts. And this is this line here. So as you can see, they cross exactly between one eight and two. So one point nine. So um, the instrument is correct. Okay. And uh, this is how you easily read VSWR uh, values on a cross needle meter.
because otherwise if you go like this how how can you how can you tell you know how can you tell because the the lines here are so so crowded so packed there's no resolution okay that's all for uh, this video i uh, hope you uh, learned something uh, quite simple actually but uh, perhaps useful to somebody out there. All the best, 7-3, and Happy New Year.